Hugging Face has done a massive update to their Transformers library. Now you can serve your models locally with the help of Transformers. If you have been following my channel, you know that normally what I do, I download and then I use the models with transformers. But for serving on my local system, I either use VLLM or SGLang or for Mac MLX. But now, instead of using a separate library to download the model and a separate library to serve the model, we can simply use transformers to do the both tasks at the same time by using the same library and in this video this is what i'm going to show you how to accomplish that by using the latest version of transformers this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel if this is the first time please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot now what hugging face has done they have split the transformers library into two parts one is now a server and the other one is a so you can install the server on any local server or cloud server or wherever you like and then you can access that server with transformers client anywhere in the world and that's what makes it so cool because not only it's lightweight but it is inherently compatible with a lot of models out there because you know that in hugging face we already have thousands and thousands of models so this really opens up a huge opportunity to serve thousands of models on your local system you can build a lot of tooling on top of that anyway so let's get started let me show you how to get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus First up, let's install all the prerequisites. Now, make sure that you install all of these libraries if you want it to get working because there are still a lot of breaking changes. So be aware of that. It is still um, not that stable, but looks very promising. So make sure that you have Torch installed, you have the transformers installed from the source, plus Rich and AIO HTTP library. Rich is a library for creating beautiful formatted terminal output with colors tables and stuff whereas aio http is an asynchronous http client server library for making fast non-blocking web requests and building async web applications and transformers as we know it's a hugging face library for using pre-trained or instruction tuned ai models for natural language processing audio vision and lot of other tasks and make sure that you put this serving in the bracket let me run this and this is going to take a couple of minutes to get everything installed while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation okay let's go back and everything is now installed so now what you need to do here is simply type transformers and serve that's it let's run it it is going to start the transformers server on my local system there you go so my transformers is running at localhost at port 8000 let me now show you how to access it i will let this one run i'm just going to go into another terminal and from here i'm just going into my virtual environment you don't have to do it but i normally prefer it to do it this way now from here for example you want to chat with another model so for that maybe i will go with another model of quen so all i'm doing i'm just going to go from hugging face grab the models repo which is quen slash quen 3 and i'm just going to go with 0.6 billion model here as soon as you press enter, if you go back to the server screen, you will see that the first time when you run it, it is going to start downloading it. So it is still loading, it is loaded. I'll just say hello here. This is a chat prompt. Let's go back there. There you go. You see, 
on my previous screen the first time it is loading the model and this is only for the first time it also has given you the models config above there you go and you got the http error, uh, code here and on my front window where i was running that chat terminal it is chatting with the model and you can simply chat with it now the real magic comes when you attach your server i'll just minimize the screen attach this server to any web ui you can use um, open web ui text generation web ui uh, jan or whatever you like so let me open another window i'm going to maybe uh, open another terminal window and maybe i will just do um open web ui and i think for that let me quickly install the open web ui for you and i'm doing it real time so please bear with me i just want to show you exactly the command which i'm going to use so that you could replicate it so i'm just going to install open web ui here this shouldn't take too long that is done and now let me first start the open web ui here it is going to start the open web ui on my local system and by default it runs on localhost at port 8080 it is running the first time when you run it it downloads these uh, auxiliary models with it so you don't really have to worry about them so i'm just going to access it at port 8080 and it is running here now what we need to do we just need to go to settings admin panel and then go to settings connection from here this is the local host at port 8000 v1 this is where our transformer is serving if you remember so if i just go back and i show you this is where our transformers were running and we have already have our 6 billion model uh, which we have downloaded now from here just click on so this is what you need to do in the api key just put any random value doesn't matter and then click on save go to new chat now when you drop down there you see there are a lot of other models so this comes pre-populated with few of the models as soon as you select a model it is going to download that model and run it for you so for example let's go with menlo's gen nano again when you type it here it is first time when you run it it is going to download the model in your server as you can see and there are two shards of that model it is going to download both of shards so what is happening here is that we are serving multiple models with transformers on the same system and you can attach it to any web user interface and you can just chat it now if you think about it there are a lot of other libraries um, there are a lot of other tools third party tools which actually charge you for this now you get it for free and you can implement it in all of these steps as you just saw so let's wait for this one to get downloaded and again um, while you do that please subscribe to the channel and like the video as it helps a lot really okay let's wait for the stuff to get downloaded and then you will see that the response will appear in the main window and there you go the model is loaded and we got a h to 200 response and the response of the model should appear here there you go and you can just start chatting with it and all that stuff it is going to give you the response and then you can just select any other model like we already downloaded i believe this one and then you can chat with it you see in the same screen we have multiple models and then it is just going to show you the response of the next model And if you're wondering what my vram looks like after loading all of these models it is just still under 10 gig and um, if you don't use any model it gets offloaded from your memory after 300 seconds by default by this library so pretty good stuff i would say by the transformers i think amazing amazing update for you know making things a lot easier we don't have to worry about um, a lot of other things especially when we are testing stuff but for production environments, I would still suggest you go either with VLLM or 
SG line at the moment because they are much much more stable I have been using uh, VLLM especially in the production for some of the models and they scale pretty nicely at the moment that's it uh, please like the video and share it and thank you for all the support